So you might be trying to figure out how you can update your Android applications on your phone without using the Google Play Store. Now, doing this is actually very, very basic and it really doesn't take too much time at all. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is if you don't want to use the Google Play Store, all you're going to want to do is update the application via an APK file. So what you can do here actually is you can make your way over into your particular, you know, internet browser and you want to type in the name of that particular application that you want to update and APK at the end. So if I wanted to use Facebook, for example, what I can do is I can type in Facebook APK. So literally just on Google, just type in that. And what you want to do is you want to find a reputable website that will basically allow you to go and have Facebook. Now, if the actual application website has the you know APK file, then just do it on Facebook. So you can see right here, it allows you to just update that particular application and download the APK file straight from Facebook. So if the authentic website has it, go that way. If not, APK Pure is a good website. Up to Down is another good one, APK Maris. One of these types of websites, you can choose whichever you want to. And again, do this at your own risk, but you know, Android allows you to do it. So find the application just like this, and you want to find the most up-to-date version. And you want to make sure you're downloading the, pro the proper APK and not just like some random, you know, other app store that they're trying to make you download. So go through here. You should be able to find the free download or the download APK. You want to make sure you're downloading the proper APK file and then you can just install it. So click download or download anyway. And then you should be able to click on the details of it. And then it'll take a little bit of time. Sometimes you can delete the old application and redownload it. Or what you can do is you can just, you know, basically just click on that particular application and it should allow you to overwrite that older app that you have, you know, already installed. But at the core, that's basically how it's done. It is a really, really basic process. And that's essentially how it's done for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything, I also love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.